Hello, I'm Corbsy, this is your Outdoorsy. We are currently across from Sydney Airport today. We are going to go and do the Brightly Sands Beach Walk. We're in Kayema. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll put the name of where we are right over here, you'll see it. That's where we are today. As you can see, it's lovely water. It's pretty glassed off. It's not very windy. Happy Easter to everyone because it is my Easter Sunday. I don't know about you, but for me, it's Easter Sunday. But that's what we're going to go do. We're going to go see a couple of exciting sculptures today, a few other cool little things, which I'm not going to tell you about. You've got to have to watch the video in order for you to see all that. Usual stuff. Make sure you're liking, commenting, and subscribing. Anyway, we're going to go and hammer off this video. So, woo! Before I go, happy Easter, because it is my Sunday, and we'll see you all on the beach. Ow! Check it out. We got ourselves a sculpture of a crab here. And then it's got a little baby. A mama and a little baby. If any of you are wondering where we are, there's a sign there as usual. You can all pause it up and read it. Lady Robinson's Beach, we're at entry 59. So beach stuff, boating traffic, sudden drop off, recreational, sharks. I'll get you up there. Right, eh? So here we are, Brightly Sands Beach. As you can see down that way, that's where all the dog, the dog off leash area is. Then as we come across here, you can see the people fishing. People fishing over there. I was actually fishing on those rocks this morning, but as per usual, like every other time I go fishing lately, I don't catch anything. I don't know why. Like I literally cannot catch a fish to save my life, which kind of sucks. As we are cruising along the beach, we have got the new selfie stick today, which is awesome. It stretches up to about two and a half meters. Very tall, very, very big. So we get to do a lot of new shots, new angles, and cool new stuff that we didn't get to do before. So we're gonna walk along this beach, all the way up there. Check it out. Got ourselves an enclosed swimming area. It's obviously a lot of stingrays and stuff in there, but as you can see, the nets stretch out to about 25, 50 meters up ahead. And then it's just like a safe haven for people to swim. So they don't get like attacked by sharks. It's mainly for people who have a fear of sharks. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I used to have a massive fear of sharks, but not out in the ocean. It was more like when I was swimming in my pool. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else of you had that kind of a feeling, but when I was out swimming in my pool, that's all I thought. There's a nice mad bull boat out there. So in about a week's time, we're gonna go back to Coffs Harbour. Once I'm there, we're scrapping the old boat. We're taking the motor off the old boat. Then we're putting the eight that's on there onto a dinghy because the currently the boat that I have is very old. It was made out of aluminium by my stepfather, which I'll make a video and show you is once we take it out for one last hurrah before we go and scrap it. So I think we're just going to get metal works done and then scrap it to the metal people because the whole boat's made out of aluminium. So there's a mad little catamaran, I had two holes, wooden deck. I think I spent like $700 fixing the wooden deck, buying all this marine grade like wooden stuff. And then within like six months it was ruined. So I don't know if it was really that marine grade. I don't think it was. It's kind of like a waste of money, but that's all right. We'll get a new one, put that eight on it and then we can come out here take the boat out here fishing and stuff there's a reef all the way out there so if i can get some scuba diving gear we can go do some diving and try and get some uh, lobsters and crayfish and all that cool stuff because currently we're kind of like landlocked because i don't have a boat so i can't go out in the ocean so i have to do everything either from the beach or the rocks or so i was going to go for a dip in the water but man it is so cold today that I don't even want to go in there. It's, it's probably like 18 degrees that water. It was like 15 degrees Celsius when I got to the wharf this morning and we just had breakfast and stuff and then obviously I went to try to do fishing and it didn't work out. So. Again, happy Easter to everyone out there. 
Hope you all had all the mad chocolates and the Easter bunny gave you all the mad gifts. Check out all my freaking dead jet ski over there. The young fellas taking the jet ski out for a putt. But we're walking all the way down that way. Might go check out, I think that's a Novotel. Might be Novotel, we'll find out when we get there, right? Eh? But it's a lovely beach, you can see where we walked from. All the way back there, Sydney Airport's right there. So what I'll do is at the end of the video, we'll, um, we'll do a couple of time lapses of the airport or something. Or, or actually, I might just show you a time lapse of it right now. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that time lapse of Sydney Airport. As you can see, there's a lot of planes that are constantly coming in and out and in and out and in and out. So it's very, very busy. Well, let's see how far we've made it now. <laughs> all the way back there. So I think we've walked for maybe like 20, 30 minutes, but check this out. It's like a family of seagulls over here. Look at them. Bunch of seagulls just chilling over there. So we're going for a walk all the way there. It looks like there's a volleyball, some kind of volleyball thing going on over there. We'll go check it out. But there's a lot of shells on this beach. Can you see all the shells? There's so many of them. So you have to like be careful where you're stepping. When you step on a shell that's very sharp. In your foot she will go. Look at it. Oh wow, the water here is freezing. Check it, it's like comes out from over here. It's like a, like a drain where the water's coming out of. Hmm, is that clean water that's coming out here? What kind of water are they pushing out here towards the ocean, lad? So how disgusting is that? So you have a drain, right? And it does smell pretty like sewage. It smells like sewage. And then that runs this way. Look, check it out. It runs. You guessed it, into our ocean, yay. That is disgusting. Like that is so bad that that's running into the ocean from there. It goes all the way. It's probably why all these seagulls are here because they love stinky stuff. It's actually kind of wrong. Yuck, man. And that runs into my water, like Sydney, bruh. I don't know why, but I think they did the same in Coffs Harbour. There's like these big pipes, right? And these big pipes will run into the water and then like all the sewage gets pushed out into the ocean. It's like, a bad idea. It's a very bad idea. Anyway, check it out. We are closer to Novotel now. It's right there. But check it. Fishing rod, fishing rod, fishing rod. So many, like I wonder, how is there so many? Where are the people that are supposed to be like manning these fishing rods? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's 11 of them. Now another five minutes have passed. As you can see, the beach is there behind us. We're walking this way. Check out the mad boat. Man, we really need to get a boat. I reckon it'd be sick. Let's get a boat, go cruising. Cruising on our boat. Just 
classic. It's a usual Quintrax 75 on it. It's a mad little putter. Is that? Check it out. What kind of bug that is? Any of you know what kind of bug that is? It's like yellow on the back. It's got a stinger on it. It's got a stinger on the back. I don't know if you want to get stung by that. <laughs> I'll be, I don't want to get stung by that. I did see a bee on the like the side of the beach before. Luckily, I like to look where I'm stepping. Some of the people don't really look where they're stepping. But... Whoa, look at the abundance of shells. Whoa. There's so many shells here. It's just like a shelly beach. It's just full of shells. Shells everywhere. See? Look at him. We're walking, walking towards those rocks and then we're going to hit up on the footpath and then walk back. See if there's anything that we may have missed on the roads. I was like, what is that? And come check and see what it was and <laughs> it's just a rock all right well that was the beach walk we are currently now walking along the road look at it go so if you lived here sorry i'm just moving the camera it's not straight how it's supposed to be but if you lived here You'd see that every single day. Just planes taking off. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep. We're, we're right next to where all the traffic is coming past. So. Traffic everywhere. Apparently there's toilets around here. Don't know where, but let's go up here. Look, check it out. Get ourselves a cool view. Here we are, check it out. our view from the pavilion <laughs> oh well that's your pavilion down these stairs we go check it more stairs hmm we conquer stairs like the time I showed you is when we did like a whole massive row of stairs in like five seconds. The Millennium Centre. Way up there. Look at that Millennium Centre. I do like this new selfie stick. See if you can like see it. If you're looking at the car. Just look at the reflection of the car. The Les Sands Pavilion. Like goes down in like a section over there. It's a restaurant. You can see it opens Mondays. Wait, no, Mondays is closed. It's open Tuesdays to Fridays, 12 to 3 for lunch. Dinner is 5 to 8. And Saturday, 12 to 9. So if any of you are interested in coming here, it's right there. So like, it's it's across from Seascape 94. Okay, Seascape 94. And then they've got burgers and ribs and steaks and stuff. It's a hurricane grill right there, I don't even know. Well, I do now. There was a hurricane grill here. You have to come for a feed here sometime. Hurricane grill right there. You see, we've got old mate using the freaking footpath for his bike, bro. They used the road, lad. There we are. Check it out, your pavilion walkout. Walk down there and you're right at the beach. Your volleyball. Volleyball is just over there, and your restaurants are just over there, so. Pretty cool. Smoke-free zone, right? Don't come around here punching your durries, no smoke-free. 
no alcohol, smoke free zone. Check out the traffic today. Check it out, Atlantis on the Bay. Atlantis on the Bay, that actually sounds quite interesting. Feedback, check the polls channel. I've got a poll up there, you can vote on for where we're going next. Oh, check out the sick car that. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like my neighbours. My neighbours pump music like that every day. UAE lad, UAE. Someone's lost a bird. If any of you live around here and you've seen the bird, there's the information. Keep an eye out. African grey. It's only been like 10 days, 14 days since they've last seen it. So help them out if you can. Have a look at the sign. If you've seen that bird, if you live around here, keep an eye out for it. Bayside Plaza Shopping Centre. Check it out, right over there. And then it looks like it's got a bunch of hotels. And it like, it like veers up. So like some sections are longer or higher than others. Check it out, we're at Kook Park. Kook Park. We got some cannons. More cannons over here. Let's see what the sign says. Oh, it's a date line. I'm wondering if is this from Captain Cook's diary? I think it's from Cook's diary. If it is, it's the same stuff that was at Tower because we were here. See our Tower points there. And then we're looking at it that's where I was the other day when we were doing the Silver Beach kernel stuff was here and then we still need to go and finish off that that corner because that corner has got more of his stuff on it so we've only seen like half of it we're currently we're like down on this section where someone's stuck their whole beds I don't know why they wanted to put it there but yeah sick let's let's stick our crap over historical science lovely idea isn't it I think these are like it says ship unknown. So are these people that like... Oh, here it is. It says, the voyage of the first fleet, Portsmouth, Portsmouth to Tenerife, which was 13th of May, 3rd of June, 1787. And then they went from there to Rio de Janeiro, which was 10th of June till 5th of August, 87. Then they went from Janeiro to Cape Town, which is the country where I'm from, but it's not the suburb, I'm from Johannesburg. Uh, 4th of September till 13th of October, and then from Cape Town to Botany Bay, November 87 till January 88, and then Botany Bay to Sydney Cove. So, names are shown under the ship on which it is understood the first fleet has spent the majority of their voyage. This may not necessarily be the ship on which they arrived in Botany Bay. And then over here it says Fellowship of First Fleeters Archives. This monument was erected by the Rockdale Bicentennial Community Committee in conjunction with Rockdale Municipal Council and funded by the New South Wales Bicentennial Council. And then Fine Art Bronze Foundry of the Sculptors. So this is literally just got a registry of like all the ships and then all the people that were on those ships. So this was the rivals board, the first fleet in Botany Bay, and it's got the date. See how I was telling you all before about the convicts and how the convicts are the ones that sort of shaped Sydney? Because that's what happened. Like a lot of convicts came over and then they were the ones that sort of shaped Sydney. So Sydney's roads and buildings, all that kind of stuff was shaped by convicts. Here we are. I don't get the rest of it because there's people standing in front of it. But... You got three quarters of the names. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't get the front of the, the sculpture because there's people standing in front of it. Oh, let me just stand in front of the historical sculpture so no one can come around to see the front. Sick idea. <laughs> it annoys me sometimes. So. Is what it is, man. Oh, check it out, there's another statue here. We've got another one. I don't know what this one's about. But let's have a look what this one says. This is from Spyro's Louis. 
Oh, he's the Greek gold medalist in marathon running. He was the first ever Olympiad in Athens, 1896. Wow. Yeah, right. And then if you can read Greek, that's all in Greek, I believe. So it says, hmm, yeah, I can't, I can't really read that. It's very faded, but if you can make it out, there it is. There he is. Our first ever Olympian right there. It's a busy Sunday Easter today. So we were gonna go up to Coffs Harbour for our Easter, but I decided against it because last year when we went up to Coffs Harbour for Easter, it took us like two hours just to get out of the city when usually it'll take you about half an hour and then you're like in and out. So for some reason, like whenever we go Easter breaks, yeah, we decided not to do that anymore. Let's do it differently. I think next week or the week after is when I'm actually going up to Coffs, like I was telling you, is we're gonna go take the boat out for one last spin, take the motor off, and then I'm gonna go buy a dinghy and then slap the motor on that dinghy. That'll be the plan for what we are going to do in the future because I do need a boat to like get around certain areas around here. So if we can do some better fishing videos and do some catch and cooks on the boat and stuff, it'll be very exciting. It'll be like that new element we can bring to the channel, but I just need to, you know, spend some money, invest into like some stuff that will help the channel be a better adventure, like outdoorsy experience for everyone involved. So. Oh, check it out. Let's have a look at this. It's like graffiti on these. That's sick. Metal container. These are just metal containers graffitied up. How cool that looks. Oh, the bird. It's mad. There goes a sign here for you. That's the usual. You can pause it up and have a look if you want to. But it's much more than art. So it was cut down with chainsaws by a selfish act of vandalism at the site. Trees and plantings. So First time the council had to place these containers to stop the vandalism. Ah, so people were doing it so they can get waterside views, right? Yeah, right. So it's probably the idiots that lived around there. Wonderful. Right, all you people over there who, who thought about doing that to that... Shame. Shame on you. Shame on all of you. How dare you do that over here? Like they have no respect for nature. I can't believe they were doing that. Cutting down the trees and the plants so they could get their waterside view. Right, well, the GoPro is constantly turning on and off now because I think it's getting too hot and we are on the last battery. So we're just going to go for our last little stroll down here, show you whatever interesting things come up and then that'll be our video done for today. Check it out over there. Wee. On his jet ski. There's another one out there. And I'm telling you, man, like if we had a mad jet ski or something like that, we'd be out fishing all the mad reefs and stuff. I would literally go and get all the diving gear, get any more extra licenses that I need to for like jet skis and boats and things. Off oh, that jet he is, he is Hooking it, lad. That thing is gone. That one is gone. Look at the bird just chilling over here. Check him out. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? He's okay, look at him. Hello. Are you okay? <laughs> They're everywhere around the world, eh? They're like, the distance those birds can travel is ridiculous. You can see we still got a bit to go. Because where those rocks are, that's where we initially started. So, big massive trekking. Like, I think we started this walk. Let me have a look at 10.30. Yeah, we started this walk. We started the walk at 10.30 this morning. Oh, you won't be able to see this, but here we go. 
I've got it up as much as I can. I don't know if you can see that. It's probably going to be the wrong way around, but it is currently 12.16. So it's almost been a two hour walk along the beach, but we are coming up to a hippo statue, which looks pretty cool. But again, why is there a hippo statue here? Like it's super confusing. <laughs> This is so confusing to me because I'm South African, right? Hippos are only in Africa. So, so when I see something like this, check it out. There's a hippo, which are not native to Australia. People having barbecues around here. Nice park areas. As you can see, check it out. The Brighton Lee Sands Park, so. A lot of people coming here today to enjoy their Easter, having barbecues and all that cool stuff. But as you can see, we have like the biggest challenge trying to get rid of this singlet tan. <laughs> I feel like it doesn't matter how many times I come out to the beaches, like full shirt off for like two to four hours, sometimes six hours, and I have absolutely zero change in my singlet tan. <laughs> It's so bad. I think I need to spend like half an hour in the sun without sunscreen on just to start tanning and then put the sunscreen on after so I don't burn. But I think that's our end all the way over there. Got to walk through another set of car parks and then be where I want to go. Oh, it's like a diner over there. Kebabs, burgers, coffee, juice and ice cream. Oof, can't wait to get back to the car and have a skull of my cold water. Whew, I really... Alright, well we're walking ourselves through this nice park over here. It's quite large as you can see. Big park to bring your doggies around and stuff. But that's the end of our video. Brightly sands, done and dusted. Sydney airport right over there. And we're about... 30 40 meters from the car so as usual thank you everyone so much so all of your support is very valued and much appreciated previous video as usual can be found right up here and if you need to subscribe you click down there follow the links in the description if you need to for previous videos my instagram my facebook uh, as well as my twitter account Go and smash it up, smash the video, do the usual good shit, and we'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, catch you then, and happy Easter. Ow! We are currently at... Shit, I forgot where I am. Let me try this again. Welcome back, Outdoors fam. Welcome back to another... Welcome back? Welcome back. Look at my thumb, look how weird those are. But we want to start. People think these intros are easy, but they're not. Ow!